So what we're going to do here today is we like to, uh, we like, we, we asked one person from the family, we asked the family to come up here so we can pray over these students, uh, but we also asked one member of the family to come up here and, uh, and speak a blessing. Because I know uh, from, I think I've already forgotten who the speaker was Friday night at the, at the graduation. I think the, I know the valedictorian and salutatorian always speak, so got that down. But after that, it was kind of all of a blur. So, uh, so this, this is really the time I think that I'm most excited for is when we get to come together and really just speak into the lives of, of these students here. So, all right, so I'm going to switch now. I'm leaving you, Minister John. Now I'm dad. <laughs> so this is my son, Jackson. Uh, Thank you for the opportunity to invite you into the celebration of our son's graduation milestone. This is Jackson Wallace Green. He's graduating from Clay High School. He has plans to attend the University of North Florida on the, uh, was it the platinum? I always forget, titanium? What? I don't know, man. Something like that. All right. So the presidential scholarship, and he wants to uh, study criminal justice and communications. And he dreams someday of becoming a prosecutor and possibly a judge. So Jackson... You, as you always state when you share your testimony, you've been a part of this church family for, I counted up here, 18 years, four months, plus you said the bonus nine months when you were in your mom's belly. So he's, 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 he's a lifer. 11 years ago, we watched you with uh, teeth chattering right up here in the, in the baptismal. Uh, Pastor David baptized him, and it was, uh, his teeth were chattering because I guess the thermostat was broken and the water was ice cold. But you jumped right in, unafraid. And you surrendered your life to Jesus. And that was an incredible gift and blessing. <laughs> you came out of that water running. I said I wasn't going to get <laughs> We watch God grow you, shape you every day. You shared the gospel with your friends. You soaked in the word you believed with a childlike faith. Then you hit junior high and high school. <laughs> <laughs> and the world shouted at you that this Christ-following thing is not cool. It's not popular. No matter how much God and I told you that you had what it takes, the enemy was shouting back that you did not. The battle for your soul was won 11 years ago, but the battle for your identity was on. We had many twists and turns, ups and downs. We failed you at times as parents. You failed us at times as a son. We all failed the Lord as his followers. But son, here's all I want to say in front of the church today as we celebrate this milestone in your life. I'm proud of your accomplishments. I'm proud and super thankful for the scholarships. <laughs> super thankful. I'm proud of how you started a sport where you struggled in the beginning, but you worked hard to improve every year. I'm proud that you, your peers selected you for the Blue Devil Award two years in a row. That all makes me proud, makes us proud. <laughs> but what makes me most proud, makes us most proud, is that even when you stumbled, even when you failed, even when you succeeded, even when you questioned, even when you wrestled with God, you never left them. You kept the faith. <laughs> Paul wrote in 1 Corinthians 16, Be watchful, stand firm in the faith, act like men, be strong. Let all that you be done in love. This day is a celebration of what God has done in your life and the life of our family. Glorify him in everything you do for as long as you live. Live well and finish well. And I've told you this many times, but it's the absolute truth. <laughs> Choose you, man. Thank you, Brian. Give me some time. Man. <laughs> Is this one on? All right. Good morning. Yeah, I don't know. I want to, um, you know, follow up with that and be able to keep a straight face, but I'm going to try. Uh, this is my daughter, Abigail. Um, so she, she's graduated from Middleburg High School, and she plans to attend St. John's River uh, College to pursue her degree in elementary education. So she's already started that, and her her plan is to eventually be an elementary school teacher. So, um. all righty, here we go. I'm glad I wrote this down because I would completely lose it if I didn't. So um, what I want to say is this is a great day for celebration. Uh, graduating high school. Okay. Um, takes hard work and dedication to complete, and you have excelled in this task. As much as today seems to be about you and your fellow graduates, this is ultimately about God. God is the one who has made this day possible. 
He has opened doors and closed doors throughout your life, making a unique story to you, but for his glory. <clears throat> um, you were born with a lot of spunk, a lot of determination and attitude. Uh, but God has also gave you a heart to serve and love others as we have witnessed. As you live and grow, continue to love and serve others while always continuing to grow in your relationship with God. Again, he loves you and has a specific plan for you. There will certainly be times when you may question what the plan is. Your mother and I know this simply because you always have to have a plan or you simply don't function. But always remember, God is in control and he's made the plan for you for his glory. Always remember what Jesus said when asked which command is the most important. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, <clears throat> with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other command greater than these. Your mother and I love you very much, and we're extremely proud of you. We look forward to seeing how God uses your talents personally and love for others to bring things for him, as we know he loves you even more than we do.